is <clears throat> musicmoose.org. We're still woodshedding on some good old blues here. A7. T of A. A7. So uh, we're going to show you a couple more little riffs to throw in your vocabulary of blues riffs here. And then I'm going to jam a little bit on it. So keeping good with the riffs. If I was to, if I had my, my middle A there off the 4th string on the 7th fret, if I did a little run from the, from the E right next to it, slid that up to F sharp, and then hit that A, what I'm doing there is just a short slide and then I'm going up a whole step and bending it another half a step. This is really giving you that bluesy sound. And of course you know, you want to uh, take that up to your higher A too. Once you get the feel for some of these bends and start getting used to them, you're, it's really going to open up a whole other door to some of these blues riffs that have these wonderful little bends in them. So if I go to the D, back to A. phrasing those a little differently every time just to give you a good example of the feel that you can get simply just from a, from a simple little riff like that it really does say a lot when it comes to the blues okay so keeping that in mind with your A's your D's and your E's we've got this nifty little loop pedal here at Music Moose and uh, I recorded myself on the loop pedal and I'm gonna jam along and just uh, go through a bunch of these blues riffs and keep it going to give you some good examples of uh, just keep tying it together without being too repetitive over each chord. We're going to play patterns differently, the same. I think you're starting to get the message by now. To keep it all fresh. All right, here we go.
example of just jamming some of these wonderful blues riffs over a good old blues progression in A7. So, friends, come on back and see us when you got the blues. Right here at musicmoose.org.